is about an upgrade I'm about to make to my dehumidifier control setup. Um, many years ago I built a little control center here for my dehumidifier out of a 24 volt transformer and a contactor. I ran a two wire control wire through the attic and into this other room over here so I would get you know a good reading on the we didn't want it to be close to the dehumidifier in other words. So I ran the, the wire here down from the attic and I've had mounted here on this wall. One of these H8908C1000 controls for several years, but Honeywell has come out with a brand new humidity controller, the H6062A1000, which I'm really excited about because it will do humidification or dehumidification in one control. Used to you had to buy, you know, these were this was a this was a dehumidistat, and they also had one that was a humidistat, but now it's combined into one unit, and it's digital and very accurate. So I'm in the process of installing that. I've got my wiring set up. Now this requires four wires. Here's the two wires I originally had ran here to that was connected to that old dehumidistat that just closes that contactor, but this being a you know, digital control, it requires a separate power source, and it can't be powered off of the transformer of your whole house dehumidifier, or in my case, a transformer and contactor controlling a standalone dehumidifier. So what I did is I ran another cable from my furnace, which is just right over here, through the attic, came down and tied it in with my bundles here and just wired it into the R and C terminal on my control board on my furnace. To give that, just to give that power. And that's worked out well. I could have mounted it over here with the Vision Pro thermostat and just uh, connected a wire, R and C wire over and just mounted it on the wall beside it, but this is right where the bathroom is and I didn't want the humidity from the bathroom to, you know, make it come on every time, you know, you took a shower or whatever. So I thought, you know, being in this other room, there's the dehumidifier, there's the controller over there. That gives a good even Good even keeps a good even check on the humidity. So anyway, I've got that the sub base wired. I'm ready to try it out. Got the power back on. Had the power turned off to the furnace while I was wiring it in, of course. So I'm ready to put this on the wall and configure it. So let's see, here we go. It's just like a Focus Pro thermostat. I'll we'll have to sit that down for a second and put it on the wall. We have power, so uh, I've got the uh, PDF instructions here. This this can be used, like I say, for humidification or dehumidification. And you have all kinds of configurations how you can wire it, which are in this PDF. I'll put a link to that in the description in case you don't have it. All kinds of things about you use it as a humidifier. Stats you have to put an outdoor sensor in and all that. Since I'm just using it for dehumidification, I won't need any of that. So what I'm going to do first is enter the advanced installer setup because I'll have to change it make sure it's set for dehumidification. So it looks like you press the light key and the up key at the same time. Okay, that enters installer setup and we'll get to the chart. Okay, system type. One is humidifier, two is dehumidifier. So we definitely need to be set to two. All right, next. And being that we're not dealing with humidification, it skips all the way to number 21, which is the high dehumidifier limit. Mm, I would never want it set that high. I'm gonna put it at 60. I probably would never set it higher than 60%. 40% for the low. Yeah, I probably would never set it lower than 40. I can always adjust that later. 25 is dehumidifier compressor lockout. Zero minutes. I want zero minutes because my dehumidifier in there, if it, if it gets power cycled too fast, it has an automatic or built-in compressor time delay, so I don't need that. But if you were controlling one that didn't, you would want to set that for however many minutes you wanted to it to delay before it come back on, but I'm gonna leave that at zero. Number 30 is humidity sensing calibration. You can 
changed how it displays against the actual, but I think it's pretty accurate. I'm sure it is being on it. Well, I'm going to leave that at default. So I'm done. Ready to try this thing out. I heard the contactor as soon as I put it on auto. It started the dehumidifier just like the old manual dehumidistat did for years. Works good. That should be a lot more accurate. I'll update on that as after I've had it for a few days running. Because it's really humid right now, so it'll get a good chance to see you know how it works compared to the old mechanical one. And I'll update that for the end of the video. Alright, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. Alright, I've had the Honeywell Humidipro 86062A1000 in operation for several days now during a very humid and rainy period and it is working great. Uh, unlike the old mechanical, which worked okay, but it would have a variance between cycles of five, four to five percent. You know, it would come on at 50 and go off at 45, you know, but this one holds a really steady. It's, it stays 46, 47 percent on my, this digital hygrometer here. Of course, it's, I've got the setting at 50 and as you can see, these two are reading different humidity, so they're just a guideline. The, humid, the Honeywell's got the right humidity right at 50 but it's really comfortable and it keeps really consistent. Maybe varies 1% if that during a cycle. And the dehumidifier comes on more often and runs shorter times, but it keeps much more steady, which is what I wanted. So I'm really pleased with it. And uh, there's one thing I was gonna show you. The, you can have the auto light on all the time or have it to auto where it only comes on when you press a button. But uh, I'm gonna leave it on because I think it looks cool at night, especially in the dark. Turn off the light. See? Anyway, it's very good. I'm very happy with it, very excited. I've been wanting one of these for years. I've been searching for a digital dehumidistat and I don't think anybody made one like this until Honeywell came out with this one. So I'm very pleased. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.